We have it! It shattered in so many pieces and I have to say that was actually pretty satisfying. You have to throw this mystery box in order to get a cute mystery plushie that is actually scented. Welcome to Plush Crush. Today we're going to unbox nine miniature plushies that are scented in a mystery box. As you can see on Amazon, this does have a 4.4 star with over 500 reviews. And there's all series three, series four, as well as series five. So we have three of each of them, as you can see here on my desk. We're going to unbox three of each of the series. And what really caught my attention is that these plushies are indeed scented. If y'all know me, you know I like to put my nose in things. Do not sniff resin. <laughs> nope, smells like resin. <coughs> It smells like vanilla chocolate. No. But I also love the fact that these are kind of random because we have the first series here and we can get a unicorn, a flamingo, a leopard, a bee, and then a fairy and a monster. <laughs> How did we escalate from like a bee to a monster? I don't know what the cohesion is of this series. But one of the unique factors, similarly to the Crush It pets that we got previously, we had to break the outside in order to get the inside surprise. If you're interested in seeing that video, I will link it down below. This one here, we actually have to throw the mystery ball in order to reveal the surprise on the inside, like you saw at the beginning of the video. And it looks like they can be used as bag charms, which I really do appreciate because I like to pimp up my bag. <laughs> And they did get a Creative Toy Award, which is really fun. If you do want to watch more plushies that are scented mystery boxes, I will link them down below as we did in a previous video. Those ones came in sleeping bags. And then series four seems to be dinosaur-esque themed, which is pretty cool. I always wanted to become a paleontologist. I even studied in anthropology, so just saying, I love history things. And series five equally is absolutely adorable because we have everything from a turtle, a lemur, and then a dragon. <laughs> So we're just escalating. We're going from like cute. Dragon. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these, any of the series, are you most interested in getting or you're hoping that we would get today? And did we get it by the end of this video? And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notification while you're there. I skipped the intro with this once and y'all started freaking out on me and saying, where's the intro? Don't worry, I got you. Sometimes I just try to change things up. Don't get angry at me. <laughs> But also, if you haven't yet heard, I do have my very own craft kit of acrylic pour art. Not just any art. Bears. But Jackie, bears? Yes, this box is called Figure It Out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Figure it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And in this kit, you're going to be getting tiny bears. As you can see here, where Mariah Elizabeth and Hope Scope both play around with the kit. And with these tiny bears, you can either customize it right away with your very own air dry clay in the kit, or you can skip customizing and go straight into bear pour art. In this kit, you'll get everything you need, literally everything from the cup divider where you can put up to five colors, pre-mixed paint, a custom one-of-a-kind drying rack that we had made specifically for this kit, detail brushes, sanding stick, glue, miniature canvases to avoid paint waste, all the way to the little mat that you can put on your desk to avoid messing your own space. Did I mention you get sticker packs too? And in these sticker packs, you have nine to collect and one holographic, but there's also a golden ticket. And if you find the golden ticket, I will leave the prize that you can get down below, which also includes you choosing my next vlog. But be sure to hurry because right now we have an amazing deal for 15% off until March 15 with the code BEARBEAR15. So check the link down below and get yours before March 15. For obvious reasons, I would really like to have the unicorn and the dragon just because tis me. By the way, the website does say that you don't have to throw it on a hard surface. You can even throw it on a carpet. So my guess is that it should crumble pretty easily. However, I do have a trusty box right behind me here so that we can throw them and see what that experience actually looks like. But of course, you, you saw it just earlier. But this is my first experience. So the best way I figure we can go in order is we're just going to do one of each series and just kind of alternate in order to just kind of see what we're getting. And for a set of three, they were $18.99. That's US dollars. And we got three of those. Kitty Editor, how much does that make US for us? So that's 18 times, well no, that's 19. 19 times three, and then change that to Canadian. There you go. So we're gonna start off with this one here where we can potentially get the unicorn or the bee. They're all pretty cute though. I'm just not crazy about the monster. So let's just move everything over there. I have very short arms. 
a second. I got this. And since these are pretty far, I'm just gonna use my scissors. There you go. You come here. There you go. And you come over here. Voila. All right, so the question is, how do we open you? Is there a tab? Okay, it does say avoid throwing the ball at surfaces that can be damaged. Throw against carpet, grass, or cushioned surface. I'm gonna have to get a blanket, aren't I? We're gonna try against the hard surface and see what happens. Okay, there we go. We have a tab over here. Please be a good tab. Voila. And voila. And at first glance, the ball seems to hold itself pretty well. I am squeezing it moderately, not hard at all. And it's holding itself. So I think if you pull it apart, no, you could. You can definitely pull it apart if you don't want to throw it. All right, so let's go ahead and throw it. Okay, that didn't work. I guess I have to throw it a little harder. Okay, I don't know if I'm weak or I really need to put my, my arm into this. Let me try again. All right, we have it. It shattered in so many pieces and I have to say that was actually pretty satisfying. And here is our surprise. And now we can see it, that it tells us leopard, monster, queen, bee, fairy, flamingo, and unicorn. So I'm going to guess there are no doubles because three of them come in one package so there shouldn't be any repeats. So let's open this up. I think we need scissors. And first one we get is the the one, the one I said I don't care about is the one we got. That is a really dense, oh, that is foam. That's actually a squishy foam. It is not a slow rise. It's just a normal foam ball. So it is good if you want to work on your forearms muscles. <laughs> it does have a rubber strap. And the face on the monster is embroidered, so it's not too bad. It does have a little tutu. It's an okay monster, not my favorite, but now we need to know what it smells like. Hello? Like nothing? Wait a minute. So normally companies break my heart, and I feel like today is a mixture of a company breaking my heart and me breaking my own heart. And now all I wanna do is cry and cry and cry because these plushies are not scented. <laughs> I thought they were scented because they clearly said by Scent Co. So it looks like I was completely wrong. A company called Scent Co made a product does not scent. Does not scent. <laughs> How do you not scent when you called Scent Co? But yeah, we got something else from this company that does have a scent, but this one does not. I was fooled by my own hopes. So here is the monster. There's nothing abnormal or special about this one, but Again, it's foam. I want to see how different all of them are. Unfortunately, they won't smell. Let's go in with the next series, and this one has potentially the dragon, and I don't think it has a tab. All right, this is not working. We're gonna go in manually. Voila. Let's get this on the first try. There we go. The funny thing is that it actually takes about three tries to get it right. So, and I'm using my left hand, okay? It's not that I'm not strong, it's, it's my left hand. <laughs> and here's all the ones that, that we can get. Narwhal, Piggy, Dragon, Puppy, Turtle, Lemur. Come on, Dragon, come on. Let's see, the one I want the least of is the puppy. And we get, oh, the Dragon, yes! <laughs> All right, look at its little wings. Oh my goodness. We have tiny felt wings, tiny felt horns, and it even has little feet over here and a tail and even little spikies. Okay, and we even have tiny details for the scale. So let's squish that. Yeah, it's a foam. I wouldn't call it a squishy squishy, but it is a squish in a sense. And of course we have the elastic wrap here so you can put it on your bag. And I'm putting my hopes up and it smells like nothing. And now for the dinosaur series, which normally I do like dinosaurs. I just feel like maybe they haven't chosen the best looks for these dinos. And I'm curious whether or not they actually put the pulley tab. I see a little bit of line here. So let's see if this is gonna actually work. Why they gotta make it awkward? Come on. <laughs> Why? Why is it so hard to make these pulley tabs? All right, I'm giving up. I'm going straight in. We're gonna have to use this knife because everything else is failing us. 
And let's see if we're able to get it in under three throws. I feel like three might be the actual number. So we did get it to loosen up a bit. Let's try and throw number two. Oh, that did not work. We'll count this one as two. There you go. And our dinos can be anything from a stegosaurus. That doesn't look like a stegosaurus to me. It looks more like a triceratops. But okay, we have a saber tooth, a triceratops. Okay, they kind of look a little similar. I'm not sure how to feel about them. We have a mammoth, a woolly rhino, and a spinosaurus. Okay. And we get... Oh, that's cute! Now the question is, which one is it? I think this is the one they want to be a stegosaurus. It's kind of cute. It's in there. I mean, the, the felt is in there. Oh, I didn't notice this. There you go. And again, the squish is the same as the other ones. We have the details in the back. Here's the front. And yeah, let's do the next one. Back to the one that we can get the unicorn from. And again, you can see that we can't really get all the way down because some of the lines just don't continue. So here's a continuous line. Here it stops, does a little bit, and then stops again. All right, let's open here. Like so. And I don't know if you can tell, but the outside of the ball actually has silver glitter all the way around. It's kind of cute. But now we throw. Nope, that did not work. Nope, this is it. This is it. Three really is the magic number on this one. And I'm hoping still for that unicorn. Can we get the unicorn? And the answer is... A bee! Oh, she's adorable! She's really cute. Okay, hang on. This is where this is getting cuter. I was getting a little disappointed with this series and this set, but we have iridescent wings on the queen bee. She has heart for cheeks! That is a cute detail! Here's her little antenna, her little crown. She is adorable. We have her little feet at the bottom. She's cute. You know what? I kind of like her the most so far. And of course, as usual, she is... Oh, that is a soft plushie. That is weird. So the earlier series is way less dense than the later series. Right now, I'm trying to squeeze the dragon and my actual thumb is hurting. Whereas this one is way easier to squish versus that one. That is, that is really dense. This one Way easier, this one, not so much. What about the dino? Dino is also very dense foam. Very dense foam, I don't like it. I like this one better. Now that we already have the dragon, I'm going to hope for either none of these, but for the lemur or the turtle. The corgi is the one I care about the least. Then again, I even like the pig. I kind of like them all. Corgi is my least choice. My least choice, my least, my least preferred choice. There you go, a sentence. Good job, Jackie. Let's get you opened up. Voila. And now we attempt our three throws. Come here. Two. Three. What? What? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> Why is this not... Okay, we're almost there. I can see it loosening up. Voila. Fifth attempt, oh my god. And who do we get? What is your bet in the comments? Please be one of the ones I want, and you are... The Piggy! Oh my goodness, you're adorable! Nope, still doesn't smell. <laughs> I love this Piggy! So we have little splatters of mud all the way around. We even have little spots for the pig itself. Even the tail is curly. That's a cute detail. That is a really, really cute detail. Again, we have the elastic so that you can put it on your bag or backpack. I love this piggy, but the foam is pretty dense, so squishing it is an exercise within itself. Back with the dino. I don't know why this dinosaur really looks kind of like a tomato. It's a tomato sword, a vegetable zorus, something of that sort. <laughs> All right, we got you. And the puzzle itself. By the way, these are puzzles, so you can put them back in case someone in the comments says, but Jackie, you also get a puzzle. I know, I know, I hate puzzles though. So I'm like, if I don't think about it, nobody else has to think about it. In all honesty, these puzzles can also be mixed and matched. So if you did get three of them, you could mix and match the colors to create a different colored ball. And you can hide different things in there and smash them again. I guess if you want to let out some steam, that's totally okay too. But I do love the speckles on this one. It really does give an egg type effect. 
But we're gonna try yet again to maybe hopefully get it by our third shot. Maybe more aggressive, that's what I need to do. Attempt number one. Number two. Whee! Woo! Number three. Got it. Now I actually really do want Tomato Zorus. I don't know why. I just want Tomato Zorus at this point. <laughs> and you are? No, you are not Tomato Zorus. You are? Oh, Woolly Mammoth. Why are you angry? Looks like a mustache. I know these are the tusks, but it's definitely looking like a mustache. Here's the hair. Kind of like trolls hair. Does anyone like trolls? I keep seeing the cartoons everywhere and then the merch everywhere. But does anyone like trolls? Let me know. The, do you like the trolls? No judgment. Ish. Kind of. Not really. I still love you. But do you like the trolls? Because I feel like they're just shoving them in my face at this point. It's just shoving the trolls. And here's what it looks like all the way around. Oh, look at that. Even the tail has its own little bushy hair in the back here. That's pretty cool. And the pattern on this one is really cute as well. You can see it's kind of like a wavy furry effect. Here's a close up of the face and the nose, trunk, trunk, trunk. And the squish on it is very dense. Because I'm a sucker for punishment, I'm gonna go ahead and do the dinosaur again because I kind of want to backtrack and do the ones I really love near the end. And this is our last chance at getting Tomato Zorus. Come on, Tomato Zorus. I don't know why I'm calling it Tomato Zorus, but now it is just Tomato Zorus. You know what? I'm kind of curious. Can I just pull this apart? I could just, I could just pull it apart. So I'm just gonna show you that it can be done in case you don't want to actually throw it. You could just do it that way, which is a lot easier on the arms to be honest. Please, please, please be Tomato Zorus. I am hoping this is our last one. Obviously we won't get a double, but we are getting, Aww. I wanted to make Zorus. We do get the saber tooth. I would have loved to see the teeth as actual pieces of felt, but here's what it looks like. It has its little feet. Again, scent coat, please, please. Don't write by scent coat if you're not gonna make it scented. I'm a little sad about that. Here's what it looks like. We have some pretty awesome eyebrows right here. Good eyebrow game. Squishiness level on it is really, really dense. Even the ears are folded, so that's very cute. I didn't expect the ears to be folded. One of the things I can give this series is at least every plushie has its own personality. It's not like they made one kind of pattern and just kind of changed the face on it. They really made the effort to make sure that every creature had its own personality. And no. It doesn't, well, you know what? It does bounce. It does bounce. I was like, no, they're not balls. Yeah, they are. They, they can be used as balls. Not predictable, but you can throw them around. And now let's see if we get the lemur or the turtle. These are the two I am hoping for. Let me know which one again that you were hoping for. And I think what I want to try is loosening this just a little bit before throwing it. Is it cheating? No, it's not, it's not cheating. <laughs> let's see if we could throw it in under one shot. Okay, maybe it is me. <laughs> this is not working out for me. Come on, please. There we go. Again, I wouldn't be too upset with any of them except for the Corgi. Again, dogs are cute. Still want a plushie of it. I want, I want something a little more different. And who do we get? We get the turtle. Oh my goodness. Hello, baby. Look at that. So you can actually play peekaboo with the turtle. <laughs> it goes peekaboo. Cute. Oh my goodness. I love this turtle so much. It is one of the plainest designs ever, but it is cute. It looks like it's wearing a rain hat, kind of like the ones you see in cartoons, like you can see here on the screen. It looks just absolutely adorable. Here's the details of the shell, the little, little feet, little tail. Super cute. I love this. Little elastic too. And will we get the unicorn? Place your non-monetary bets, no risky bets in the comments below. <laughs> because the unicorn or even the leopard look really cool and I would, I would like either of them. At this point, we already got the one that I don't like, which is the monster. So everything else is okay. All right, sliced open and to throw we go. All right, can we make it in less than three throws? And the answer is, that's one. Hey! Did I cheat? Maybe. Maybe. Is it considered cheating? I may have loosened it up. And who are we getting? We have... <gasps> mm. You know it! 
My goodness, hang on. It's a little hard to see because everything is white. So we're gonna get our trusty felt on the desk. And here she is. Oh my goodness, she's adorable. We have our unicorn who has arms and legs kind of like Kirby, which is interesting because you would think it would have feet like this, kind of like a dinosaur, but instead it has arms and legs as opposed to legs only. Interesting design idea. The horn is a pretty sparkly pink. We have a little tuft of teal minty hair. And I love the fact that there's little stars and polka dots around the actual pattern and it has a winky face. Let's see the tail in the back. No tail! Interesting! This is a very interesting design. The ears are folded, super cute. I like this, but it's a little wonky. It's actually a little wonky. I thought it would be like legs, not arms. Cause even the turtle has legs. <laughs> this is so wonky. It really just reminds me of Kirby. Let me know which one of these is your favorite and if we got the one that you wanted. If you want to watch more unboxing, make sure you click up here. If you want to watch anything kind of crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video. It says incomprehensible violence. <laughs> it's like so cute though, with a bear on the skull.